Well, back in 2016, I was looking for a new software with a similar layout and came across a software called MovieZoo. And it had the potential of 360 degrees video. And I thought this would be an intriguing addition to making movies with. And it was a part of one of the passion competitions through the TMU community. It was a contest through the TMU community, and each year it had a theme, and you had to create a movie according to that theme. So the theme at the time was the seven deadly sins. So I thought this would be very interesting to figure out how to tell a good story and faith at the same time. No, not at all, because of the themes it explores, and because I wanted to tell a darker story than what you may find at a Christian bookstore. I did everything in my editing software to get that tormented soul to the lowest volume. If I lowered it any further, then there would have been no sound, and that is the lowest volume I could get it at. So, I hired my voice as high as it would go, and it was still too loud. But I did everything to make it as low as possible to hear that narration. But as a result, it does sort of cover up that narration. So I hope this answers your question. Sure, at the time, I saw a lot of 360 videos, but none of them really felt interactive enough for me. I wanted the viewer to be a part of the journey and not something that was slapped on there for no apparent reason. This is why when I think of 360 videos, I think of the experience from the viewer's perspective. Actually, yes. When I first did the narration for it, I started to notice another story form in it. And if you look closely at the guy at the beginning, it seems to tell a quite unique story about him that I did not see before. This was extremely hard because I wanted the character kind of sad, but still see through these things. And he is actually trying to figure out why people would go down this path. Simple. It was because I don't want people to think this is another Christian movie or preachy movie in that sense, but be able to keep non-believers and believers happy by minimizing the faith aspect and telling a good story. So, I hope you enjoy What's Your Passion and join me next Friday where we will do our final episode, Runaway, which will be in the video card above or in the description below. And never forget, Animated Christians is just for you.